Hey, good morning, everyone. I mentioned morning because I'm on my way to the office in Dallas, and I am thinking about dinner already. In particular, I'm thinking about pizza and best practices. Now, there's a lot of kinds of pizza, right? There's uh, really thin cracker crust pizza. There's uh, the pizza from Naples, you know, probably the original pizza. There's pizza from Rome. There's New York pizza, that real rubbery, greasy kind. I love them all, but they're all different. Now, can you imagine if there were a best practices in pizza making so that every single pizza maker strove for that exact same recipe? What would you get? You wouldn't have that delicious thin Neapolitan pizza. You wouldn't have that rubbery New York style pizza. I don't know what you'd have. You know, something like Tombstone pizza, the kind you could buy frozen in the, uh, in the supermarket. So why do you think best practices in any industry are different? Why do you think they're different in yours? And if everybody followed best practices, number one, it's in essence uh, consensus arrived at mediocrity. And number two, there'd be no way to compete, right? All that would be left is probably price. Think about that when somebody says strive for best practices. Instead, what you want to strive for is, in essence, next practices. You want to strive for a better way of delivering, a faster way, a, a, a way that is qualitatively different. You want, to, you want to compete on the basis of differentiation, on truly being different, on repelling many who don't understand and don't appreciate the way you're competing, who in fact might think you're crazy. You gotta repel to sell. Not my saying, one that they use in marketing, but you know, it's the truth.